Will Mr. Griffin be long? Oh, I don't think so. He's with a stockholder. We've known each other for a long time, ain't we? Indeed we have, Hazel. Good. Well, then I feel that I can be frank with you. Because you and me is the same kind of people. We just never amounted to much. Well, what do you mean? I'm the head of nine corporations. Did you ever graduate from grade school? Well, no. I went to work. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You should have studied nights like I did, and then you would have got a great school diploma. I am a successful businessman. Oh, yeah. Can you speak any dead languages? Well, no. Well, Mr. Johnson can, and that's a sign of class. You just ask him any question, and he'll fire the answer back in Latin or Greek or any of them dead languages. Well, what good is that? I, I wouldn't know what he was talking about. Well, I'm glad you're a big enough man to admit it. <laughs> well, I wrote a letter of recommendation for Mr. Johnson, and I'd like you to read it, because it'll only take a minute. We've lived next to them for nine years now, and he never gives no noisy parties, and every kid in the neighborhood loves him, and he's kind to animals. So I know he could do a terrific job for you, if you just let him. All right, I'll read it. All right, and let your conscience be your guide. But if you don't give him the job, then you can just say goodbye to my brownies. <laughs> Hazel, what a pleasant surprise. Well, it's amazing to, to see you here. This is my day off. I just dropped by to say hello to Mr. Griffin. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? For some special reason? Yes, didn't George tell you? I'm here to discuss employment. Well, no kidding. Ain't that terrific? Yes, sir. Please ask Mr. Johnson to come in. Yes, sir. You may go in now. Oh, thank you. Well, good luck, Mr. Johnson. Oh, thank you, Hazel. I'm sure everything will go swimmingly. <laughs> oh, dear. He's just as trusting as a child. If you don't mind, I'm just going to sit here and see how he makes out. Sure, Hazel. Go ahead. Oh, hi, Mr. B. Hazel, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, I just happened to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd look in and see how he made out. That's ridiculous. You'll find out tonight anyway. Mr. Baxter, I don't seem to have you down for an appointment. Oh, well, uh, I had another meeting in the building, and I thought as long as I could... Have a magazine, Mr. B. <laughs> Wait. He hasn't a chance, you know. Oh, well, I'd engage him in a minute. To do what? I guess he hasn't got much of a chance at that. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Baxter, how nice seeing you again. Hello, Mrs. Totter. Uh, another color for the uh, trucks? Oh, no. This is for the driver's uniforms. Isn't it lovely? I'm going to show it to Mr. Griffin right away. Mrs. Totter, I'm sorry. He's with a Mr. Herbert Johnson. Herbert Johnson? Oh, my dear. Herbie won't mind. I've known him since I was a little girl. <laughs> well, for Pete's sake. Oh, that'll ruin everything. I'm sorry. She always does that. I know, I know. She has a lot of nerve. What she's got is a lot of stock. Boy, you should see her at the meetings. Does she ask dumb questions? <laughs> of course, if she knows Mr. Johnson, maybe she can put in a good word for him. She never done anything right in her life. She don't say she might recommend Mr. Johnson. And, uh, Mrs. Thorpe, you'll explain the whole concept to my assistant, Mr. Johnson. And you really do like the color, don't you, Herbie? Oh, yes, I think it's excellent. Uh, green, isn't it? Uh, uh, Miss Adams, I want you to arrange for Mr. Johnson to have the office next door. From now on, all stockholders and their crackpot... <laughs> jack jack ideas are to be referred to him. Oh, this is exciting. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Oh, forget it. You're doing me the favor. We'll discuss salary after you get back from lunch. Marvelous. Come along, George, Hazel, Violet. You're all my guests. <laughs> Thanks, Harvey. My pleasure. You got some brownies coming, Mr. Griffin. I'll be waiting for them, Hazel. <laughs> Go along, everybody. Let's not keep lunch and waiting. Come along. Let's go. I want to get back, you know. I've got my... Oh, Mr. Griffin. When stockholders bring me their ideas, will I have full authority? Uh, Mr. Johnson, you will have absolutely no authority whatsoever. Oh, splendid, splendid. That would have worried me. 